welcome again to Soul Fire Fridays. My name is Webby. I founded Soul Fire Inspiration to set your soul on fire through music and conversation, and therefore to inspire you to live intentionally and purposefully. We've been in a conversation about four powerful truths to live by, and today we're in part three. If you haven't had the chance to watch parts one and two, I put those videos up on YouTube, but the link is in the caption of this video. You can get to recap on those. The conversation today is about this, that you have something to offer. If you've ever felt like minimizing yourself or your gifts, or like your contribution isn't worth making, or that someone's better than you and so deserves the opportunity or the platform or the shine more than you do, then I'd like you to understand that perhaps you're robbing yourself of the opportunity to find out what was actually put on the inside of you and you are also robbing the world of the gift of you. Now, I don't mean to chase you away with harsh words. I actually want to point you in the direction of a truth that you need to believe. You have something to offer. You know, even if you're in a, class, a cluster or a category of people with whom you do the same thing, it's important to know that every single one of you is made differently. Every single one of you is gifted differently. You are gifted differently from the last person you were probably comparing yourself to. God doesn't make carbon copies, nor does he make mistakes. He prepared a very specific work for you to accomplish on this earth and then put you on this earth to accomplish it. Your part is to discover what your gifts are and develop them so that you can use them and give off the value that is on your inside to this world, therefore living in a better place than you found it. And that's really what we're trying to say through this conversation today. That's really what I'm trying to say through this conversation today. You shouldn't minimize yourself just because it makes people uncomfortable or because they think you shouldn't be too loud or you shouldn't be too enthusiastic or you shouldn't be too committed to your cause or to your pursuit or to whatever it is that you're on. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to give an account to them. You're going to give an account to the God who created you and put you on this earth. You have something to offer wherever it is that you are placed, wherever it is that you're found. The other day I was talking to a friend of mine and they said to me, you know, they got the opportunity to do something they had the opportunity to do something that they'd never done before and their first reaction was they felt unqualified. They were scared to do it because they thought someone else would probably be better off doing it. They'd never done it before, they had no experience and so they wanted to run off in the other direction rather than take on the challenge and discover what it would lead to. And I discovered that in many ways I've done the same thing. You've probably done the same thing and that's kind of what makes this conversation so important for us today. You've been given a unique set of skills, a unique gift, unique value, unique expression, a unique personality that must shine, that must come out onto the surface, that must be utilized for good. No two people are exactly the same. And if you've probably heard this statement that so-and-so is more talented than another, then that's not true as well. And if you've believed that, then I'd like to divorce you from that belief by saying that, there's no person who's more talented than the other. In fact, there's no metric with which to measure how much talent a person has. All we do is we make those statements or those comments on the basis of appeal, and they are inaccurate. Every single person is given a unique gift and a unique way with which to express that gift. If you've never thought this of yourself, then it's a good thing that you're watching this video because from today, henceforth, this is the new thing that you must believe about yourself. Have you ever had the chance to observe zebra? A herd of them or even a pair, maybe at a national park or a zoo or on TV. At a glance, they look exactly the same, black and white stripes. But if you observe them carefully, you'd, re you'd realize that each zebra has a very unique set of black and white stripes. And just like the zebra, you have never existed before, will never exist after this. You are unique and you have a very unique imprint. And so you cannot just pass through this earth without sharing the gift of you and making this world a different place than the one you found when you came into it. Every single one of us has a responsibility to discover what is on our inside and then to give it out or rather to share it 
with the world that we're in, with the people that we're in, in the spaces that we're in, the responsibilities that we are charged with. I hope that this begins to give you an opportunity to see differently from how you've seen before if you never thought much of yourself or of your gifts. Again, I'd like to say at this point that if you haven't had the chance to watch parts one and two of this conversation about four powerful truths to live by, then I'd encourage you to do so. The link will be in the caption of this video. I should also explain that the way these conversations happen is that people sign up or rather they subscribe for Soulfire Conversations, which I send out every single Monday, have a chance to reflect, to read, and then watch this video every single Friday. I put out a video every Friday as an extension of the conversation that we're in that week. If you have never signed up, never interacted with me through the Soulfire Conversations, then I'd encourage that you sign up for the emails which come out every single Monday and get the opportunity to read what it is that I've shared and then come and extend the conversation by watching these reflections on Soulfire Fridays. I get to also share some music whenever I do Soulfire Friday videos and if you'd like to get the music that you're hearing or you'd like to be uh, introduced to my music for the first time, please check the link in the caption section of this video. Thank you for making the time to watch this video. I hope this conversation has been helpful to you. I hope it has added some value. I look forward to sharing another video in the coming week. And until then, I look forward to seeing you. God bless. Have a good time.